Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for July 25th, 2024. Hey there, welcome to the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. I'm Scott Goldbranson, and today we got a jam packed lineup of the greatest stories from around the world of sports. So buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. It's time to go. First up, let's talk about the New York Metropolitans making history for the first time since 2013. The New York Mets have swept the Subway Series against the Yankees. That's right, folks, with a commanding 12 3 victory in the Bronx last night. The Mets completed the sweep. They outscored the Yankees 36 to 14 over four games. Francisco Lindor was on fire, smashing two dingers against Garrett Cole, who, let's be honest, folks, looked more like a batting practice pitcher out there. Cole's ERA is now a whopping 5.40. They better figure it out in Yankee land. On the flip side, Juan Soto did his best to keep the Yankees afloat, going two for three with a homer and a double, but it just wasn't enough. The Mets are now 53 and 48, and they're only a game and a half behind the Braves in the NL East. Wow, you talk about a comeback. Who would have thought? Over to the gridiron, the Minnesota Vikings took a heavy hit before the season started, but cornerback Makai Blackman tore his ACL at the first practice of training camp. Holy moly, the guy was showing so much promise after a solid rookie season coming out of USC. And now this, it's a brutal blow for the Vikings, especially after the tragic loss of rookie cornerback Kyrie Jackson earlier this month in a car accident. The Vikings secondary is looking like a scene from a disaster movie right now. Hang in there, Vikings fans. It'll get better. Next, it's Olympic fever in Salt Lake City again. The International Olympic Committee has awarded the 2034 Winter Games to Utah. Cue the fireworks, but wait, there's a twist. This is interesting. The IOC is pushing Utah officials to squash an FBI investigation into doping by Chinese swimmers. Yeah, you heard that right. Governor Spencer Cox and his team have been put in a tight spot. Either stop the investigation or risk losing the games. Olympic diplomacy at its finest, folks. Despite the drama, Salt Lake City gets almost a decade to prepare for the games. And one of the leaders to get the games there, Mitt Romney, is already on the case. Let the countdown for the Olympics to return to the United States begin. Finally, just a whopping story here. The NBA has struck gold again. The league signed a massive 11-year, $76 billion TV deal with ESPN, NBC, and Amazon. That's right, TNT is officially out. And they're not happy, and Amazon is in. This new deal will see NBA games broadcast across multiple platforms, including Amazon Prime. We're talking about the NBA Finals on ABC, Sunday night games on NBC, and even play-in tournament games on Prime Video. This is big for the league, folks. The NBA is set to rake in the dough, and we can expect some serious salary cap increases in the coming years. It's a new era of basketball broadcasting And boy, sounds like fans are going to get a lot more basketball in their lives. All right, that's it for today's Daily Sports Rush from SportsNot. Do us a favor. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And always check out SportsNot.com for the latest and greatest from the world of sports. Until tomorrow, have a great one.